dark approach. It's like, I want to keep it not so serious. It's like enjoy, enjoy the wine and totally not get all hung up on stuff. <laughs> I hear that. So what are we drinking? Okay, this is their white blend. It's uh, their wild white. This is a 2008. Got it? Oh, it's got, it's got, is that, is that it's a got a, It's, it's a, a little zebra. zebra. Awesome. I don't know. It's a zebra. What's the blend in it? So it's 29% Chardonnay, 26 Semillon, 23% Viognier, and 22% Rousson. Yeah. Uh, I definitely get a lot of the Viognier. Definitely get that big stone fruit. Uh, a lot of floral, that real floral character to it. Mm -hmm. Really huge for a white. Is it creamy, oaky? Oh, you got it already, huh? Mmm, you want to write I think right the for Chardonnay it. and the v and kind of pop right out. Um, is that good or bad? I mean, for more. me, it's good, because I, I like those two wines. Simeon, to me, is kind of... I, I lose, I don't know, I'm not big on the Simeon, so... So a shark drinker would actually immediately like this, and a v and would so. love it. Yeah, totally, totally love it. You know, I do taste some oak, I don't know, it, was this oak, Sean? The v and The what, your blend? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I, I like the fact that Sean is like dead honest about things. Yeah. What's the first thing you think about when you actually taste that? You know, it's kind of almost kind of a, um, like a little chocolate. A little chocolate? Which is funny because I usually get that off the Syrah. Like a, a dark chocolate or like a cafe no, au milk chocolate? No, almost, almost a milky chocolate. A milky chocolate on this? Well, there is 26% Syrah, so that kind of makes sense. Do you, do you feel do you feel the spiciness on that? Not not tr well a little bit but not a whole lot. It's Just pretty, mild it's spicy. Really smooth. It's really smooth. But yeah. I do get kind of that cocoa off of it. And one word. That's kind of cool. Describe it. One word. Um. Mm. Besides yummy. Perfect. There we go. Right. Chocolate and, and, and grapes. Yummy. And yummy. Awesome. Let's That's go to the next one. one. Wow, it's got a lot of high heat to it on the back palate. You can feel it like <clears throat> when you put it in your mouth, you're right, you got the chocolate right in the front. Um, I get a little out of um, Kind of like um, Perno Ricard, kind of like the, the, the anisette, just on the front though. And um, it's it, it kind of, let's say the dark fruits that you get on the front kind of turn into more like a, a bright fruit in the back end. But it's got a, a, a nice, strong, super high heat type. Uh, I didn't what's think the alcohol was, concentration? I didn't think it was that high. 14.2. 14, 14, so it's not really that high. 14.2. Yeah. Good yeah. blend. And this one is the San Francisco Wine Chronicle Best in Class. For the Petit Verdot? Yeah, Petit Verdot. And also for our um, Tempranillo. And also Best in Show for our Grenache. So, did, did pretty well at the San Francisco Wine Con. Totally. Um, okay, imagine this. Um, just on nose, okay? So we'll talk about nose real, real quick. So, um, to whoever's watching this, the nose is incredibly important, and I tried not to actually refer to them uh, as like, uh, just like, just like the Parker, well, just like the other people who decide that they're gonna actually... Mushroom. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do unorthodox, unorthodox ways to do it. Mushroom, you got mushroom. So imagine walking through a field and all of a sudden you find a flea market and you buy some uh, red berries and some fruit, right? And then immediately after, we're, we're, we're gonna be in, we're gonna be on the East Coast because you can find this on the East Coast. Especially in Jersey. But the fact that not located? No, not at all. Columbus. You know, the name, you know the name well, well, yeah, because you because you believe in, in in Pike Place Market and the urban markets, and, and I believe in anything that's you know uh, horses and out in the middle of nowhere and lost. Walk through you're walking through the fields, right? And in in all of a sudden you hit. I know all about being market. out in the middle of a field in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I bet you do. I, I live that life. Did you? 
I'm living it right now. Oh, that's right, yeah. Good call. And, and I'm the opposite. I'm actually living downtown in Seattle. So you dream about it. If I, love, I do dream about it, but that's where my past is from. You have like a whole bu bushel of fruits in front of you. And you walk into a leather and shoe store. And this is exactly what it smells like. It's kind of big for Merlot. Is it? Maybe we will drink the Merlot. Yeah, maybe I should drink the Merlot. Okay. Pretty good amount of tannins. Yeah, but it, I think it's not overly, I think it's not overly tannic. No, I agree with that 100%. Yep, totally. Um, a little minty finish. I got a little minty finish on this one. Um, but not like huge mint. I'm talking like a, you know, you pick a, 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 a mint leaf off off the, um, I would say off the bush, off, where, where do they come off the bush? Mint? No, it's a, a plant. It's a herb. It's an herb? So, What's the menta. scientific word? Menta. menta. Oh, wow. Cool. So, uh, you See, I knew that degree in horticulture would come in handy someday. <laughs> right, especially like out in the middle of nowhere. Um, you, you, you pick, you pick the, the, the mint leaf off and uh, you leave it down and put it down for about three days. And so it's like one of those three-day-old mints. It's not like super fresh, but that's what I get. 